Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. Benjamin and I are out here working on a couple of gifts for my mom for Mother's Day. We're gonna be doing two different types of stenciled or decorated pots. Um, so one of them is gonna be a little bit more classic design with some neutral colors, and then I wanna do a bright, fun one from Benjamin to my mom. So I just found an image online uh, that I liked. I love this like wheat wreath right here. So I printed it on photo paper, and then I cut it out. So I made my own stencil. So almost for free, right there. Um, and then I also printed out the letter K, which is my mom's, um, that'd be the monogram for her. So I cut that one out as well. So in the end, I'll have that kind of look on this pot. But the first thing I wanna do is paint the whole pot a different color. I've got some chalk paint here. This one is a Waverly brand in the color Mineral. So I'm just gonna paint the whole pot real quick. all dry so now I'm gonna just put it on its side here this is the front of the pot I'm gonna grab my stencil and you can tape your stencil on if you want or just hold it really carefully I'm gonna attempt to hold mine carefully and then I have another color of chalk paint here called truffle and that's the color I'm gonna be using but I'm gonna kind of dab it on this cardboard first to kind of dilute the paint I don't want it to be super thick um, or super saturated I want it to look a little bit muted that's what I'm going for anyway we'll see how that how that goes <laughs> All right. Uh, look at how pretty that turned out. I am so thrilled with that. So I'm gonna let that dry for just a second and then we will work on the monogram. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think that that turned out so awesome. So I'm gonna let the K dry, and then what I'm gonna do is use a clear acrylic sealer, and I'm gonna just spray a nice even layer around the whole outside and on the inside, because it is terracotta, so it's porous, water will want to seep out through the sides, and that could ruin our paint, so we wanna make sure to seal it from both the outside and the in so it's uh, waterproof. Okay, so for this next part, Benjamin is joining me. We're gonna actually attempt to make some art from Benjamin's feet on the side of this pot. So I chose to use tempera paint, which is safe for kids. Um, but I do have the wet ones right next to me. Um, I don't know how much of a mess this is going to be. This is my first craft I've ever done with Benjamin. So what I'm gonna do is just lightly paint the bottom of his foot and we're gonna press them onto the pot and make little butterflies out of them. So I've got red, blue, and green, and then this big blob is my attempt to purple. Kind of is purple-ish. Here we go. <laughs> he clenches his toes. He's clenching his toes. Don't clench your toes, baby. Here we go, ready? Put your toes out, put your toesies out. There we go. Your grandma will love it, won't she? <laughs> she will love it. Look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna go give Benjamin back to his dad so I can finish up this project. So now I've got some Q-tips and another little paintbrush and then I'm gonna use some black and create the body of the butterflies. Now if your kids are a little bit older than Benjamin is, they could do this step as well. So I take my brush and I'm just gonna paint a body of a butterfly. And then I'm gonna use the Q-tip to make the little ends of the antenna. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So I'm just gonna continue to do that all the way around the pot. Isn't that super adorable? So now I'm gonna go spray both of these containers with that sealer and then let them dry and then we'll plant them up. And I just chose plants where I can use regular potting mix. I'm using a Spoma Organic potting soil. Uh, and then I'm gonna put this gorgeous hookah in the gray pot. So I'm gonna add a little soil first. This is called a peach berry ice hookara. Beautiful. Add a little bit more soil around the outsides. Now I'm gonna add a little soil to the next pot. I'm gonna start with the Super Bell's yellow and then a Super Bell's great punch. All right, all done. I think that they turned out really sweet and I'm really excited to go deliver them to my mom today and see what she thinks. We're here at my mom's house to give her her presents and Benjamin's asleep. What Maybe do you have? Happy Mother's Day gifts. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's from Benjamin. Oh, how cute. Those are feet butterflies. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and this one is from me. Oh. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you, honey. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, that is so... Mm -hmm. 